today on Exploring Scotland's History, we're going on a visit to Ardmaddy Castle and the stunning gardens within the estate. The original castle dates back hundreds of years, originally a MacDougall of Rara property. The original castle was burnt down in 1620 and the Campbells acquired it shortly after and set about its rebuild. James Gillespie started the rebuild. He's famous for having been the architect on various well-known sites such as Glenbar Abbey on Kintyre, the Glenfinnan Monument and Drumtochty Castle. David Bryce completed the build 30 years later and he was also known for the Hamilton Mausoleum and Fett's College Chapel in Edinburgh. The building boasts Georgian and Scots baronial architecture. Strangely, Canmore lists the edifice as having no outstanding architectural interest. I personally feel this is a little bit of a slight on what was really quite a detailed and beautiful building. The Campbells held the property until the beginning of the 20th century, when the Earls of Bredalbin had all but died out, and the trustees sold the estate to the Struthers family. A hundred years and three generations on, and they still occupy the house. One of the rooms in Ardmaddy was used to hold Jacobite prisoners in the Rising of 1745. Funnily enough, the family now use it as a playroom. The castle also has a dungeon, with walls reportedly 8 foot thick. Not much chance of escape there then. In the 1980s, the castle hosted an unnamed US president. My personal guess is it might have been Ronald and Nancy, since his great-great-grandparents hailed from the Argyle area. The stunning wall garden was built in the former barracks that was used by the government troops in 1745. During the Second World War and beyond, the gardens were used as a market garden, assisting with the war effort and the lean years that followed it. In the early 1960s, a horticultural enthusiast began to grow and hybridise rhododendrons and azaleas. I'm rather keen on this purple and white variety. From 1980 to the present time, Manette Struthers has supervised the development of the wall garden that we see today, packed with a rising collection of shrubs and herbaceous perennials.
it's a beautifully tranquil place to visit with woodland walks and water gardens to add to the visitor's sensory experience. Some of the rhododendrons are over half a century old. In addition, plants and seasonal fruits and vegetables that are grown organically can be purchased on your visits. It's a stunning sight for an afternoon walk. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and comment. It really helps the channel grow. If you wish to support the channel, you can do so through the coffee link. Thanks to all my supporters thus far, you're making an appreciated difference. If you wish to join me on my other social media platforms, those links are below also. Until the next adventure, thanks for watching.